here we are now, um, in, in well into the second half of this semester, and we're very, very grateful, all of us, and I'm sure I'm speaking for everyone, the administration, the faculty, those of us that are teaching in person, we're very grateful that we just haven't had an uptick in cases. We haven't had, to my knowledge, any positive returns on the random COVID tests that have been given to the students and the faculty. So we're doing something right. Die Rose, die Lilie, die Taube, die Sonne, die Liebe, die hat allen Liebeswonne. Ich liebe sie, die Schmier, die Schliebe, Leine, die Kleine, die Feine, die Reine, die Reine. I want to emphasize that I get it because so far, up until now, October 23rd, we have had no cases erupt at Eastman. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I get that. I get that. But we're so compromised by the way we're doing things. Is there a way that we can, we can continue our, our training of the students in the midst of this pandemic and do so without a mask, but do so safely? The last person in the world that I would want to put my student at, or any student at risk, extra risk, would be me. And I'm sure you feel that way. I'm sure we all do. But we're so compromised by having this over, over a kid's face when they're trying to sing. The teaching for voice, I think, is the most compromised. Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Scott, and together with Alexis Sowers, we will perform En Fermant Monsieur from Massonet's Manon. Sorry, I said that a little prematurely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Paper towel. Paper towels, like, oh, dry. dry. Yeah. So that, that actually brought me to another idea that might work, and that is to create a translucent or transparent booth. That then you can close behind you. So I will close one of these. And now I can remove my mask. The roof, the front, the back, the sides, they're all contained uh, so that whatever they expel is trapped within their own environment. And this was the idea that I wanted to bring to the Eastman. Using a booth like that would make a lot of sense because if it was a sealed booth, where could the aerosol go? Where could the droplets go? Nowhere. In addition to that, to put a, an air purifier in the booth, we're talking mainly now about performing, but something in the booth that is recirculating and filtering the air. My idea was that this booth would be used in a rehearsal or a lesson situation, and then just as the singers and pianists and I do now in the room, uh, we are responsible for every single thing that we've touched in the room. So the piano that I use to warm up my students, the, um, the seat that I'm sitting on, whatever the student's touching, the music stand, and the pianist with their piano. In, in my situation, there are two pianos in the room, so I use one, and the accompanist, the collaborator, uses the other one. They then wipe everything down before they leave. The lights are shut off, and for a half an hour, nobody's in there, except the air purifier, the air conditioner, and the open window. In, in the manner of using a booth, then the singer who would be in that booth would be spraying it down and wiping it down, tipping it over so that it's the, the bottom is open for ventilation and for drying of the disinfectant in that 30 minute period between the lessons or the performances. And I think we have, uh, if we were allowed to use something like that, we would be coming much, much more close to a non-COVID atmosphere um, for the singers, that they would be able to sing without the mask on. I'm sure that you were observing um, everyone singing with a mask on in Kilburn Hall and understanding nothing.
Ms. Carter, I'm talking with you now, I'm assuming, and this is about the kind of textual understanding that you might be able to um, perceive. So there's that problem. Vocally, technically, there's also an issue that we're finding, and that is that the students are beginning to compensate for the, uh, the stuffiness that they feel while they're singing, the intelligibility that they're trying to communicate with the text. And in teaching voice, uh, and I'm sure a wind instruments, all wind instruments, the, the professor is guiding the student based on not just one thing, but two, what they hear and what they see. And if half of what they see is covered, then there's a big compromise there. So there's, we have found that there's been, the students are, are admitting to us that they are uh, beginning to compensate for the natural feedback that they would get with the mask off that they don't have anymore. And so they're basically developing um, a habit that they would never resort to, which is not what we want. You know, the, the, the training of the voice is so delicate and, and the, the parameters are, we have to be very, very mindful of what they're doing and what they're not doing uh, in the training of the voice. And this has really been compromised by the mask because we can't see that they might be um, positioning their tongue on a certain vowel in a way that is not as free because I can't see it to correct it. I can only hear. So a half of my monitoring has been, has been removed. Being who we are and the innovative school that we are and the leading edge type um, community that we are, that it might be worth thinking about or trying. Oh.